Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal, a market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on the uh, Tuesday, the 22nd of March 2016. This video is being brought to you by CFDs.com. Be sure to visit their website, www.cfds.com, to certainly uh, learn more uh, and uh, visit the uh, CFD brokerage to certainly uh, qualify for that uh, potential new account opening offer of 25% bonus. Alternatively, you can visit the educational site, which is www.cfds.education, to uh, keep up to date with my charts, analysis, etc., and more. Okay, I'll start the video off by uh, saying a little prayer for those uh, people that have uh, unfortunately, innocently passed away. I think the number of death, uh, the number of dead people thus far, or death toll at present, is uh, currently, I think, up to 30. So, such tragic and sad news, and it certainly is gripping the uh, the equity markets at present. Certainly, fear is dominating okay and uh, as you can see the european equities are lower at this current stage now it certainly is uh, a sickening mentality and a, and, and a um, demented mentality i mean i am a muslim myself and i can certainly confirm without any um a shadow of doubt that uh, islam doesn't contone such activities islam is a religion of peace respect mutual respect of all religions historically as well so the um the atrocities that are taking place at present are totally uh, divorced from any religion really or any uh, peaceful philosophy or ideology so it, it can't be justified killing innocent individuals at random and how do you know what religion is, is present at an airport or in a, in a train station it could be anyone if anything they could have killed muslims of these uh, uh, demented and sickening twisted people so it, it, they have no philosophy they have no thought process they're demonic characters that need to be eradicated and uh, we certainly need to be protected from them as well now let's hope that our government certainly uh, become wiser and stop invading Arab countries as well I mean it works both ways I mean uh, a bee will never attack you unless you obviously uh, disturb it okay so always bear that in mind if you um, disturb a hornet's nest what do you expect okay so I think it's our job as well to from a large to a large extent to stop uh, disturbing the uh, the hornet's nest or the bee's nest uh, shall we say and um, it certainly needs to uh, we need to become wiser as well there's no need for us to invade other countries just for the sake of oil resources etc and power and so on and so forth so it really is a complicated matter i don't want to get into politics um, but it's something that can't be solved overnight unfortunately unless we uh, certainly from the Western perspective, we change our thought process on the Arabs and the Middle East. And I also think also Palestine is a very important issue here as well. Uh, the injustice in Palestine uh, with regards to the Israelis and uh, the Palestinians and how their land was taken from them and how it's a Jewish state, etc. Uh, I respect Jewish people, I've got Jewish friends. Uh, but there certainly is uh, this Zionist uh, mentality that certainly is extreme as well. Uh, I mean, there's extremism in every religion, really, uh, which is a shame. Uh, and really, it's a few it's select individuals. It's like going to a football match. I mean, you have 30, 40,000, 50,000 at a football match. You have a few football hooligans. Now, those 40 hooligans just uh, ruin it for everybody else. Okay, so it's the same sort of philosophy here. I mean, you have uh, almost 1 billion Muslims in the world. If you have a few bad apples, and they have certainly ruined it for everybody else. So it's the same type of philosophy here, but it's something that we... We need to keep a level mind, and um, uh, and a, uh, just like the market, you need to you, you can't have any particular bias. Okay, uh, you almost stay neutral. You can go long and short, and that's the thing. That's what we need to do. But yes, without any shadow of doubt, these actions uh, are not supported by any religion. Okay, uh, even when I remember when the, the um, reading the history of the Crusades, uh, the Crusades were justified under religion. No, they weren't. Obviously, as people became wiser and more knowledgeable etc they soon realized that the uh, religion had been used as an excuse just to justify uh, such atrocities and same sort of concept is happening here these are sick twisted individuals small minority group that are rejected by 99.9% .9 of Muslims and have nothing to do with Islam okay so that's very important to realize and and I think it's, it's important for me as a Muslim as well to educate people and make them realize that this has nothing to do with the religion itself and no religion let alone Islam can support such a uh, theory of killing innocent civilians at random okay right um let's go on to the european market analysis now in terms of uh, the news flow first of all we have uh, the asian markets overnight uh, certainly negative the hang seng china certainly uh, lower although more or less flat we had the nikkei higher by almost two percent overnight so that certainly was a bullish 
uh, slant or a bias ever since obviously we had um, I mean my video I put out a video yesterday arguing for a bearish uh, bias regardless anyway uh, but obviously Brussels uh, event certainly has confirmed that now you are the US market certainly more or less finishing positive stroke flat okay similar type of session in China but we had uh, we were uh, strength in uh, in the Nikkei and although that strength certainly was uh, pent up strength or pending strength because uh, the uh, the Japanese market was offline on Monday so it, it certainly was distorted strength okay now the FTSE currently is down 26 DAX is down 50 and then CAC is down 20 and the bias certainly remains bearish now we have had an onslaught uh, or data deluge this morning uh, in terms of um, uh, numbers now we had uh, CHF Swiss exports trade balance certainly better than expected so that's bullish bias exports certainly stronger import stronger as well so that was good news the IFO business climate uh, current assessment expectations all from Germany certainly uh, stronger market PMI from France certainly stronger to a large extent or more or less in line a German market PMI more or less in line slightly stronger although one number came in weak uh, so the CPI from the uh, from the UK came in in line uh, the uh, European market services PMI more or less in line if not slightly stronger in certain areas the RPI and CPI more or less uh, CPI came in weak on the FTSE itself thereby obviously causing weakness on the on the FTSE to a large extent and given Brexit concerns are obviously dominating as well uh, ZEW uh, certainly came in weaker so in terms of current uh, situation and economic sentiment expectations to a large extent a large percentage certainly came out weaker now ZEW survey economic sentiment certainly came out for stronger for the eurozone itself so a mixed set of data and a mixed set of data okay but as we all know when um, economic data is out and you have terrorism on the other hand terrorism phase will always dominate regardless of how bullish the economic data is okay so terrorism uh, will dominate and that certainly seems to be the overriding uh, fundamental uh, pressure on this market okay now let's look at the technical picture now uh, now I have explained this to uh, from yesterday as well and the technical picture remains bearish you are looking to potentially retest that 3000 level on the euro stocks and on the 60 minute I did explain yesterday that we uh, we want we need to close the gap at 2970 now uh, that 2970 gap will be the fundamental catalyst uh, well fundamental catalyst is certainly there with the terrorism concerns obviously commodities were into resistance and everything will be exacerbated from my perspective now that pivot low certainly seems to be holding well so watch out for that low at 3000 or 2990 should i say but given the uh, terrorism concerns the uncertainty and the fear you are looking at that potential gap closing okay on the uh, euro stocks so all eyes on the euro stocks and that gap closing given the fact that we've broken out of the bullish channel okay so bears are in control here you're up 350 obviously holding that resistance more or less in line let's bring up the chart the german dax now the german dax had this hns formation certainly uh, impressive you are looking at the neckline holding it's very hard for the uh, the actual uh, gap to close given the terrorism concerns the bulls certainly have come back in hard given the qe nature of this market obviously everybody wants to buy the dip regardless of terrorism but the uh, European indices are facing resistance on this current junction. On a 60 minute chart, you had this bear flag. Obviously, we've held that potential double bottom. We do have an unfilled gap at 9,500. So, again, terrorism concerns, etc., etc. You're looking for a lower high, and obviously, this bear flag certainly could potentially playing out lower. So, again, keep an eye out for that uh, potential unfilled gap below. For now, support seems to be in the region of 9,750, currently at 9,900. So, therefore, you are looking to potentially move lower here on the German DAX as well. Okay. The daily chart, the German DAX, uh, you certainly had this bear flag formation. We are now testing that, re or potentially testing that lower channel, uh, as whether or not we can sustain or hold within that channel. But bear in mind, we do have this unfilled gap that needs to close here, and the uh, the, the all eyes will be on that potential gap fill. So keep an eye out the down the DAX and looking for potential gap fill. Okay, now in terms of um, the uh, CAC, now let's just bring up the CAC itself. okay let's go to the daily chart obviously we've broken down uh, that gap fill certainly is holding thus far but therefore we, we do have another gap below we've broken out that bullish channel so therefore remains vulnerable 60 minute chart is holding this diagonal trend line we have actually closed the gap on the, on the french crack which is quite interesting so all eyes on this gap here okay so all eyes in this gap which is previous resistance equals support so it'd be interesting to see whether or not we can support hold that 4350 zone or potentially move lower so again all eyes on the french cat from my perspective 
FTSE 100, you have this rising contracting wedge in a daily chart. We are on the verge of breaking it, given the fact that oil prices are holding. 60-minute chart, you have the H&S formation in play. You obviously are below the neckline. Okay, your target is 6060. We're nowhere near that. You have held the horizontal support zone and 200 MA for now. So keep all eyes on on the um, FTSE chart, given the H&S formation. Now, the 10-minute chart, we did go up and retest that key zone and the symmetrical wedge type pattern. Obviously, as you can see here, we've held that resistance and obviously pushed lower. You are looking, from my perspective, to go back down now and test the double bottom. That's what I would expect. Again, the market is king, and you can see, decide which way it wants to go, regardless of my opinion. But from my perspective, you are definitely looking at testing that 6115 level, and then we'll see uh, how the market uh, obviously reacts. But for now, it's quite an impressive move from 6115 up to uh, 6180. Uh, the QE certainly is in, in built and inbred in this market in order to uh, or program to buy the dip. So that is certainly is interesting, okay? But for now, you have the Euro USD starting to uptick as well. So that should certainly hurt the uh, should certainly hurt the market to a large extent as well. So keep an eye on that, folks. Okay? So the um, the uh, uh, Euro USD is certainly pushing back above 1.12 level. And that, again, will be risk aversion for European equities, given the fact that euro is moving in the opposite direction in terms of risk, OK? Copper itself, uh, as we know, was already at double top. So, again, in the indicating resistance. Now, the euro USD, you can see we've based it at 1.195. We've certainly popped higher now. And therefore, any pop higher is already bearish for the European equities. So, watch out for the gaps below in European equities. So, therefore, bearish bias certainly remains. Uh, for now and uh, it remains a dominant theme so fear is an uncertainty going forward equals risk aversion trade so watch where the uh, euro stocks closes that gap below so all eyes will be on the euro stocks and uh, 2970 zone okay i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs goodbye now